So in this video, we are going to have a look at uh, Prophet Lovi where he's speaking about uh, Puff Daddy's uh, son. I think he's called Christian. And also when he's speaking about the Hill Song and also uh, Apostle Arome. So uh, it's just different context, but generally it's all about, uh, you see the way we as Christians, we've been really attacking uh, one another we've been really attacking people that we should be winning to christ so actually that is what uh this video is all about generally so i'll just be playing for you this segment of prophet lovi and then after that we'll just get back and then we can just have a discussion of the same so if you have not yet subscribed i will ask that you subscribe at this point of the video just click that subscribe button it's free of charge and uh let's get in the video and then we'll come back and then we'll have a talk at it so in the video i've actually just managed to do some subtitles of exactly what the prophet was saying that is prophet lovi just for us to be having a better understanding i've been seeing in the later videos where um, people are asking the same questions of the same things that are actually mentioned in the video so i'm surprised if they uh maybe they are not paying close attention of anything so i've made captions on this one so you see uh, this one has captions so definitely you'll be able even to follow better so let's get into the video and then we'll get back after that. Puff's son came to, came to church. He came, he wanted me to pray for him before all these things happened. Christian, a good kid, he came, I spoke to him, I prayed for him. And one of his friends says, was with tears in his eyes, and he was like, Prophet, to be honest with you, it is the first time I have seen somebody that looks like me that is walking with God like you. Everyone else feels so out of reach. Everyone else, it seems so there is a barrier. But for the first time, I am looking at you and I can really see myself and see that I could do exactly what you're doing. Look at how the Lord Jesus caught him and how the Lord Jesus ministered to him. But you see, when your love has grown cold, the side effect is offense. If you see somebody ministering to who the world is condemning, the world is offended by it. They don't even know the insights, whether it's true or not. Many of your pastors are led by their flock. They are not leading their flock. Whoa. Because they are ashamed mm. to do what God wants them to do because they are afraid of offending people. They are afraid of offending people. Why should you be afraid of how people react when you are sent to pray for somebody? Yeah, that's true. That's a very good uh, Is question. somebody understanding what I'm trying to say? Yes, sir. Why would somebody be offended with that unless unless your heart is corrupted? Yeah. Because we are not ministers to the church. I'll say that again. I am not sent to the church. I am sent to bring flock into the fold. So if going out to those who the society is fighting or, or they have made mistakes that are evident in the eyes of people, why should we be ashamed to go for them, yet they are the ones that need Christ the most? Why are we judging the same way the world is judging? I always remember this when, when Pastor Carl Lenz had that uh, big scandal that happened and the expose thing and all that stuff happened. I saw that and I saw what a great opportunity the church lost for somebody who was anointed for people who are in Hollywood. Yeah, he is talking about Hillsong. I commented about it. I don't know Pastor Carl Lenz. He's not my friend. But I saw that and I saw Hillsong lost a huge opportunity. Mm -hmm. Now, despite what was going on with them, whatever it may be, to me it was a loss because so many people in the world depended on this man to know about the Lord. The Justin Bieber's and all these people, they really relied on this man to know the Lord. When he fell, when he fell, did he just say when, when he, he fell? fell? He made a <laughs> Let me correct that. When he made a mistake, everybody stoned him instead of restoring him. 
showing the world like listen we are just like you we mess up just because we are saved it doesn't mean we are perfected but we're in the process of perfection we are going to restore our son we're going to pray for him and we're going to send him out again but the church disassociated with him they fired him like they would fire a regular employee oh. I'll, I'll use like apostle arome right i use apostle arome for for an example i know apostle arome is a man of god a hundred percent a man of god no doubt about it are all his methods good no he's talking about prophets is it good no because it doesn't come from a right place okay maybe he has seen people that have done false things maybe that's why he's preaching the way he preaches that's fine but I've never called Apostle Arome a fake person. Why? Or a fake man of God. Why? Because I know he's sent by God. But when a message of division comes from our mouth and not purification, you see what? L let me explain it. Let me explain it. Let me explain it like this. If you have ever done, you see, we have forgiveness, we have sanctification and purification. All right? There's a difference between forgiveness purification and sanctification mm. forgiveness is when what you have done god has taken it away purification is when something is restored to its original state all right it has become pure meaning it was a certain condition it got messed up and now it's being purified meaning it's being restored it's being restored to its original condition and then there is what sanctification to sanctify is to put your spirit in the place that god actually wants it to be because after you're pure now you need to what be sanctified you need to be set apart for god's use so a man of God or a woman of God brings people to purification and sanctification. Not by division. Because if I tell you to repent, but your burden is heavy for you to carry, how will you repent? Yeah, that is Absolutely. actually a beautiful point right there. So uh, basically here, uh, Prophet Lovi is actually just highlighting uh, some of the, should I say, the judgments that have actually uh, been going on and it's been crazy really there's been a lot of uh, exposing here and there and uh, Jesus didn't call us to any ministry of exposing let us just be clear on that but uh, rather he called us uh, to preach the gospel to those who are lost so there has been a lot of judgment that has been going on um, actually not forgetting that even you see for the ministers who Maybe I've decided, uh, you know what, maybe I won't leave these souls to get lost. And they have decided to uh, actually take the stand and to go and win those souls for Jesus. We've seen those ministers actually being uh, stoned. Like, for example, uh, Bishop T.D. Jakes. We've seen Bishop T.D. Jakes with P.D.D. We are not really clear what uh, their, their conversations has been all about. All these things has just been suspicion and uh, a whole lot of allegations because there's no evidence to anything the only evidence that is there is that uh, there are pictures there are pictures actually that are online and those pictures we can be able to see that are pdd uh, posing with a puff daddy but uh no, no, no i'm saying oh, actually it's bishop jake's po posing with a puff daddy so th those pictures were actually uh analyzed by different people and people had different opinions but what is uh what is the fact is that we are not clear on what their content of the conversation is. So possibly, maybe, maybe Bishop uh, Bishop T.D. Jakes was actually preaching to P. Diddy. We don't know, but we have just come out and we are accusing people and uh, drawing all this conclusion just to term them as a fake man of God just because they are seen with uh, the wrong with the people that they should not be seen with. I know that definitely the Bible speaks about... Uh, as uh, the actually the, the company that we decide to keep it really speaks a lot the company that we decide to keep really speaks a lot i know the bible speaks about that but let us not forget that we are called actually to the world so the scandal that uh, happened with the hill song the one that our prophet prophet 
Lovi has mentioned just in case that one didn't uh, actually slip to you it's actually hill song in australia um what happened there were allegations let me just use the word of allegations there were a lot of allegations from different ladies in that ministry who were accusing uh, different leaders for actually uh, sexual assault and rape and uh, that that is actually a very very uh strong 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 cases right there on the hill song and it brought uh, a lot of scandals on the hill song name and a lot of scandals globally so yeah so that is what happened to the hill song so prophet lovi just feels that uh, maybe they could have addressed the matter a bit differently rather than them trying to um because it's like they were actually stepped down and let us not forget that hill song is actually in charge of uh, uh, different celebrities coming to Jesus. You remember even the time that uh, actually Chris Brown, we've seen Chris Brown being in the Hill Song. We've seen Chris Brown singing in the Hill Song. We've seen Jesus, uh, actually Justin Bieber. The Bieber was there. And there are so many uh, Hollywood and celeb music celebrities who are actually uh, part of the Hill Song. So, uh, so Prophet Lovi is saying that that was a platform for them to receive Jesus. So probably they could have just come out, yes, addressed the issue. If, uh, if it's taking responsibility for whatever, but not letting that whole ministry go down because of that, because you see there's always a bigger picture. And let us not forget that we are still men of God. So the man comes before uh, of God. So definitely there are, there are, there are mistakes that uh, we can all be part of. But now this one that we just are, uh, we are just a judgmental society. We are just a judgmental world. We are just... Uh, uh, throwing stones to people not really caring about them not really being um, sensitive about them and not being focused with what jesus has asked us to do so jesus asked us to go to the world and to preach this gospel to the lost so if pdd is among the lost then what we are supposed to do as christians is for us to go and to reach out to them not for us just to be attacking them and just uh to be disassociated just for for us to actually um uh, not to be anything close to them because we are sent actually to the lost but now if anyone that is seen with them we are trying to attack them we're trying to bring them down so definitely how are they going to receive jesus and let us not forget we are not any special we are not any better even if it's not just the grace of god it's uh, if not the grace of god we ourselves could be among the lost but someone definitely had to reach us and for us to uh, for us to get convicted in our hearts and for us to receive the gospel that we strongly believe in today so uh, i believe uh, i i'm loving this message by uh, the prophet and uh, it's quite amazing it's an eye opener and it's a wake up call to the church it's a wake up call to christians around the world when uh, when the world has decided to go against uh, one of its own like for example the world has decided to go and expose them the world has decided to go and step down on them for us as children of god is not on us now to join the world and do the same but for us is to show the love and to spread that love that jesus actually asked us to do he said that that is the greatest the greatest is love laying your life down just for the other so this is a wake-up call this is a reminder for us to walk in love like never never before so this is such an amazing and a profound teaching especially for such a time like this so let me know let me know what you think about this right there in the comment section be a blessing to someone right right there in the comment section be a blessing to someone out there don't forget to give this video a like uh, stay blessed and see you in the next episode